<clears throat> Hello, Jess. I've asked this question previously and you gave me tips as to what to do. Perhaps I'm overlooking something. It's about my anxiety attacks. I took excellent care of myself. I do take myself to experience of death and commanded healing and trauma resolving. I was fine for two months. Unfortunately, anxiety hit me so hard last week. It felt like my nervous system was struck by lightning. It was the worst attack so far. Is there anything else I can do? Can you see my energy field is healing or getting worse? Thank you very much for the insight. Well, you're, you're, you're getting way better, okay? So you guys have to understand that every negative is a shortcut in the universe. The universe is always gonna work in the path of least resistance to facilitate change and growth within you. Now, the more comfortable you make yourself, the less opportunity you have to challenge and grow yourself. So the universe kind of likes you. And when I say universe, I mean you inverse, you. You are creating your reality. Um, likes to kind of keep you in that place of unknown and uncertainty because it keeps you very present. So first thing I want you to look at personally with your energy field the way it is, is you are high level, high level sensitive, okay? And what I mean when I say that is you are a um, traumatized empath, okay? That has had to really work to create boundaries in this time and space. Like there's, there's been an absence of boundaries in your field. Therefore, energy is allowed to flow in and it is allowed to flow out. Now you are very open like a flower, right? And that causes your very open system to kind of run a high level of defense. Now this could go for some of you who are listening. High level of defense means danger, danger, danger. So your fight or flight um, is going to be a lot more sensitive. Like when your when your you know trip gets tripped, it's like you're going to be a lot more sensitive to what is happening around you than someone who is jaded and very fixated and very isolated in themselves. You you are kind of like the 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 one that wears her energy field on the outside, okay? So you're going to have a lot more anxiety to deal with, a lot more um, sensitivity, and it's not gonna feel like it makes any sense because your body is going into re-stimulation through environmental reactivation. Okay, now try to break down what I just said there. So re-stimulation means to re-stimulate, so like, something from your past is happening in your present moment that is causing your body to go back into a danger sequence. Like that's what anxiety is. It's like an overrun of adrenaline that makes no sense. And it causes this danger, danger, danger. And you as an analytical are trying to look around and going, what is creating this? And it makes no sense. And then that throws you into more confusion. The ego mechanism does not like to be confused. It freaks out when it doesn't understand what's happening. So you've got like three forms of stress going on. You don't know why it's happening. It's coming on all of a sudden, you know, you're doing your work, you're having a great day, you're having a bad day, but you also have to look at where we are in the ascension, you guys, depending on who you are and how you're built. You know, some of you are high level empaths. Some of you are old souls that, you know, don't get bruised easily. Some of you are, you know, um, allergic to everything, you know, some of you, I mean, the thing is, is if you're in this group, you're, you're part of the new collective of beings that runs a higher frequency. Now that going to be a more sensitive energy field just by default. You're going to be a, a high performance vehicle versus old Buick pickup truck that can withstand rust and weather. You need to be garaged and fed well and protected, right? And I think one of the things that you need to realize is that we just came from a really very, what's the good word? What's a good adjective here? A really rough, and I don't mean that with bad or good because it's just a feeling, ret Mercury retrograde. And it really peaked last week. That last week was really like a widow's peak of like, just mania, right? Like lots of old energy being cleared out, lots of old karma being cleared out, lots of old feelings coming through. And what I can tell you about you is that you need to learn how to be more present with yourself because you are really good at processing when you're processing and you're really good at doing the work. But the other 23 hours a day or the other 20 hours a day that you're not doing the work and you're not physically focused, where are you? Okay, 
Because when your body is saying, I need you to be here with me, be present, be grounded. If you are not here, then me, myself, and I starts to fractal and go different places. Your body is going to send a danger signal. It's like a kid getting lost in Target. Mom, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? It starts to freak out. So you'll notice for you when you start having these panic attacks that you are not present. And the way that you can get present is you can recognize that you're having an anxiety attack and it does not matter why it's happening. That's the first thing I want you to start to think about is forget why it's happening. That's the, that's the mechanism of the ego. It needs to know why everything is happening. Second of all, where are you in coherence of your body? Okay, because if your body is constantly getting thrown at, into anxiety, you are not there. You are not there to receive yourself. The fastest way to get to receive yourself is to breathe. Breathe with the mantra, I am safe. I am safe to be present. I am safe to be present. I am safe to be present. But I can see your field right now. And there are things in your reality that are causing you to feel unstabilized. There's things in your reality right now that I'm looking at relationships and uncertainties and things that you're putting yourself into right now that are not necessarily safe. So you guys have to remember that just because you're on this journey and you're doing the processing and you're doing your spiritual work, you're also living in this body the other 23 hours a day or the other 20 hours a day. And that's when you actually have to be more of your spiritual self. You know, you can let go during the training. You can like completely unhook when you're listening to the, you know, podcast or taking the seminars because you're going to download that subconscious. When you are in your body, doing laundry, driving a car, making yourself food, talking to people, you have got to be present in that body somehow. And I know one of our old defense mechanisms as impasse and sensitives is to not spend very much time in the body because it doesn't feel good. It feels heavy, feels dense, feels icky, feels like old memories, feels like uncertainty, feels like not you. And because you're such a high level sensitive, you, you've spent so much time out of body that the anxiety is gonna get stronger the more distance you get. So the more distance you get from your body, the more your body is going to cry for you to come home to it. That's what's happening. That's what anxiety attacks are. Your body is crying for you to come back, come back, come back. And the fastest way to come back is through breath. You gotta breathe your body. But you notice how right now I'm not concentrating on breathing my body. I don't actually have to be here because my body knows how to breathe itself. Now it knows how to breathe itself in its subconscious memories of being alive, but I can also take my power back and breathe my body. Now I'm in actually in my body. Just a second ago, I was popped out about six inches outside of my body and I was still having this conversation with you and I was still flowing with you and we were still having this chat. Now I'm in my body, right? Feels different. But one of the things I've been teaching a lot about lately is the trauma of the present moment. If the present moment isn't safe, like right now in your present moment, if you don't have the money you want, if you don't have the time you want, if you don't have the relationship you want, if you don't have the health you want, why would you want to be present? And it's funny, this new age community is all about be present, be present, be present. But you have to sit with yourself and say, what does being present mean to me? Because if I'm continually out of body, then that has to feel safer than being in this body. You guys, anxiety and panic attacks is a call for you to come home. It is you've abandoned your field and now your field is wide open because they don't have good boundaries. And now things are coming in and out. It's like a child being left alone without parents. That's what it feels like. That's what an anxiety attack is. Okay. So breathing your body, telling you you are safe, coming home to yourself. Now during retrogrades, during full moons, which we just had this last week, it's going to be even more difficult to be present because you're going to be overwhelmed with frequencies that are basically bombarding the planet to get you to level up to your next phase. Now, any change the body experiences is going to send a danger signal because the body doesn't organize itself in change the way that spirit does. Spirit is always in a state of change. It's the third law of the universe, change, right? The body, on the other hand, that's driven by the ego mechanism of protection does not like change at all. So you got two opposing forces going on inside of you 
And I think a lot of this could be solved with you saying, I accept and receive the fact that I am very sensitive. You're, you're, you're very sensitive to EMFs. You're very sensitive to light. You're very sensitive to sound. You're very sensitive to people's energy fields. And I think that we, you know, we don't parent ourselves enough to recognize that that's not us being a victim, that's us taking responsibility for ourselves, creating healthy boundaries, and then making sure that when we are not in spiritual practice or in meditation or wherever, that we still are with our body, that we are still home. So when I'm looking at you, what I keep hearing is you need to come home, you need to come home, you need to come home. Now, what does home mean to you? Does home mean trauma? Because if the present moment is not comfortable and home means trauma and there's things right now about the present moment that you're not wanting to necessarily look at or participate with, you're not going to be as present. So your body is going to start to feel you leave. And as soon as you get far enough for your body to not feel you, and that can happen through being in a crowd, that can happen with you know having a thought, that can happen in the middle of the night, that can happen you know, when something triggers your senses, it can, it's usually environmentally triggered. Okay. And what's happening is there's usually some root trauma that's being re-stimulated that you're completely oblivious to. And so you pop out, pop out and you start to go pretty far. And the farther you get, the more SOS the body is going to create through pain, through messages, through anxiety, through headaches, it's going to take something to get you back home. That's all that's happening. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing broken. And when you actually start to realize your potential of this level of sensitivity you have on the other side of sensitive is mad gifts. It's mad intuitive gifts is lots of healing abilities, because if you can feel it, you can heal it. And that means if you can feel it within yourself, you can also heal it within other people. So, but you've got to create a safety within yourself, tr trust. Trust is at the root of most of your trauma, by the way. Trust is gonna be, um, a, it's gonna be a main frame for this Q&A today. I don't know why, but trust is gonna be the highlight experience of our Q&A today. So work on trusting your own intuition, work on trusting your voice, work on trusting your breath. I trust you, I'm here, I'm safe. These are gonna be your affirmations. Breathe, remove yourself from wherever you are because you could be in a room by yourself and have an anxiety attack hit, okay? But you don't know what level of hypnosis and subconscious energy is in that space with you. It could be a smell, it could be a memory, it could be a, a you know, it could be your ego saying, you know, something's coming in the next moment. So you have to take stock. Where am I? What's happening? Who's around me? Do I have boundaries? Do I have my breath? Am I in my body? And you're going to have to do that and you're going to have to do that and you're going to have to do that because your, your, your nervous system is in such a state of fight or flight constantly that even when you're here, it doesn't think you're here. It's almost like Luke had a bad dream a couple of nights ago and now he's like, won't go to the bathroom by himself and he's like, mom, where are you? Where are you? And I'm like, I'm right here. So it's like when you, when your body re-experiences a trauma for the next, you know, 30 days or so, it's going to be on high alert for its own safety. So you're going to have to take more stock and be more protective. And I don't like that word, but you're, I, let's use more aware instead of protective because we don't want to go victim here, but more aligned and aware of where you are. And you're a natural popper, which means that you pop out of your body a lot and you've learned how to survive outside of body like a lot of us do. And there's probably some dietary changes. I would say that your best bet is to study a little bit more Ayurvedic, like what, you know, Ayurvedic food, that if you're not already doing that, that will tell you like what combinations of food will actually help you be more grounded in your body. Um, but you also have to recognize when you're around people, places, and things that don't allow you to want to be present. Because this is all about your presence. It's all about trusting yourself. It's all about presence. It's all about where you are in coherence of your body, the further out you get, that's when the body starts to get really sick. Okay. Okay. Nadia, welcome. Welcome to our group here. Um, just to let you know that if you go into the archives, I know you're new to the group. We've, I probably got about six or 700 